guys, Ellen Woolbridge here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. Fresh from the hairdressers, nice coloured hair, all my greys are gone, yay! Very happy to be able to engage my hairdresser again, because I do have plentiful greys. But that is not the reason I am here today. I am here and I've realised I haven't even got the cards ready. Oh my dear word, I rushed home to share these cards with you. So today, I oh, let's see if my thing is fixed or if Facebook has still broken it. Let's see. Oh, Facebook fixed it. Yay. Right. So you can see everything right way round. This is great. So playing with Magnolia Lane paper the music from the heart stamp set and the pretty label punch and on this card i've used the copper trim all retiring products so i did this in a zoom class that i ran on sunday and everyone loved it so the zoom class i sent them all out a kit and then they had to provide the sentiment stamps for what I sent out so that worked really well they loved it they bought up big from the retirement list um, okay die good idea they bought up big from the retirement list and um, yeah enjoyed so this is the sample I made and then this one is the one I made in class because I'm using up all the ends of my ribbon and this one is using the, I think it's called the Magnolia Lane. Sorry, I do have the retirement list up in front of me because I needed, yes, the Magnolia Lane ribbon pack. So I gave them the twine in the pack and this is the ribbon in the twin pack. And today I'm going to be using the non-retiring uh, petal pink organdy ribbon so and this is the stamp set that i took the happy birthday from this will be staying in my collection because i have a musical child uh this stamp set ain't going anywhere so it's staying in my collection but i thought i would use it possibly one more time with you guys so what i'm going to do i haven't got anything cut up so we're going to make a couple of these cards Oh, no problems, Catherine. I will see you on the replay. I will flick you guys around, get my second screen set up, turn off the overhead light. I've realised I'm showing you my husband's wine collection. Ha ha. There you go. Um, and we will get going. And what I will do, I've got to remember to flick it back. I'm so glad Facebook have fixed the reverse screen which is wonderful now we do have louisa asleep under the desk today because i had the audacity to leave her and see my friend mark who is uh, oh my dear word i had the audacity to see mark who is my hairdresser what is going on here today I don't think I can tighten that any further if I wanted to. Hang on. Sorry, guys. That was a bad malfunction. Right. I think we're good. Just let me get up my second screen and check. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Come on, Mr. Facebook. Be kind. For some reason, I wanted to restart the whole page. No fun. Okay. I don't even know if I'm on mute or not. We will... No, I am not on mute. We will find out. Now, can everyone hear me okay? I'll go turn off my light. Oh, happy to keep you company, Cindy. on the floor that I nearly tripped on. It's all happening here today, I tell you. 
Okay, Miss Louise has opened her eyes to go, Mum, are you rolling over me or not? Okay, so what I want to do, I kind of want to lift that side up and we should be okay. You know, don't need to be straight or anything. So, hey Shannon, hey Beverly, hey Linda, hey Deb, hey Di, hey Nick. Said hello, hey Philomena. Uh, who else? Hi Trudy, hi Marjean, hey Bev. Oh, I said to Bev twice. Feeling lovely today, Bev. You get a double hello. So, this is the Magnolia Lane paper, and as some of you may realize, these cards that I've made aren't necessarily very me. They're a bit left of center for me oh look we might make two cards because I've got two pieces of paper here um, but that's okay I like being a bit different and seeing oh I've got one piece there and seeing what I can come up with um, if if I was not to want to make these cards simple, I may add another mat. And I might do that with you guys, is just add another mat under this uh, large magnolia piece and um, see where that takes us. Just thinking, could I use this piece because you know in the spirit of using up paper I don't know I'm just thinking like a plain early espresso mat even though it pops I'm just thinking just thinking 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 um, I've got those two pieces out and I think all I need is two card bases um, do I have, I know I did have, uh huh, so I have some scrap petal pink and I have one piece of this which I may just cut in half and use as my grounding piece. I've used two different widths here, it doesn't matter what I use. Okay, trimmer time and let's look and see if I have... Oh, okay. Can everyone hear me? All good, Shannon? Hey, Carol. Okay. Yeah, maybe, like, close the app completely. Don't just go out and come in out of the video. Just try and close the app completely. Sorry. This is not straight and it's annoying me. You can hear me. Okay. Right, let's see what I have in the way of cut thick whisper white paper and I don't have any so I will rectify that fact. We're making two cards because that's just the cards, uh, the pattern paper I had on hand cut and I'm going to grab my early espresso and I have a piece of scrap and I'll see if this piece of scrap that is definitely wide enough for one and need which is fine I may just need to cut into a new piece for the second one. Oh, I love using scraps I can't say it's a pastime, but it is extremely satisfying using scraps. Okay, so now that I've got all of that together, I am going to grab my ruler and just check the length of this, which is... Okay, right. Are you sure that's 12? Yes. Okay. I know exactly where I'm cutting that cardstock. 
I mean the patent paper. I can't talk today. Okay, thank you. Apparently die. Okay, die. I'll see you in a sec. That is one piece cut, two pieces cut, right, and I want to check out the width of this, which is about two centimeters. So if I cut it in half at about one. That will go perfectly as a strip, two strips, one each for each card. Now I just need to check the width of this. I think it's about just, a, it's eight. So that is eight. So I want to put this at eight and a half, I think. just going to and this is sort of if I have a piece I can eyeball it yeah and then that was 12 and that and that will be there okay so that is one mat done and I'm just showing you the step up I would do by just adding a layer so sometimes it's nice, like this is a beautiful card by itself, but I did, might do the length first and then cut the width. So then I've got a really nice usable piece of scrap. Do you do that? Go, no, 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 I'm not going to do it like that. And then I flip that around because the cutting edge is the wrong way. Hello Miss Myrtle, thank you for joining. Okay, now I've just got to do my card bases. So I score in half. Just one, that's all you need. That makes a really nice score. So this new trimmer, this scoring blade, is amazing. And I must say, for all the months I've been using it, which is... Pretty much since November last year I think I'm on my third blade and I make a lot of cards I cut up a lot for class I make a lot of multiples and I'm only on my third blade which is pretty good compared to the older blades that we have this has been one of my best investments at the moment I'm buying that trimmer compared to the old one it's amazing absolutely amazing now bone folder we're cruising today I think after I score these I'm going to stamp my sentiments punch them out and then we're up to assembly I might be short changing you with a really short video today because these cards are super duper easy to put together. So, from the music of my heart, I, I love the handwritten scripty font, and I'm going to use Happy Birthday because I need more birthday cards in my stash. That's what I've decided. I just need more cards. Okay. Happy birthday, and I'm going to do it in early espresso ink. So, open it like a makeup cotton. Do you know what? I'm going to show you the easy way. Grab your bone folder and twist, and that breaks the seal. Twist, breaks the seal, and then you just open it I use the table and push it down and then I'll show you my tip to um, close it really easily and be really brave and stamp this 
straight up. Oh, yay! And this just stamps beautifully as well. And it's the perfect length for the retiring pretty label. Okay, just let me quickly clean this. So I'm just using my stamp chamois, which I always use with my photopolymer stamps. I don't generally use this with my rubber stamps because I like to use um, my... Oh, I mustn't have cleaned that last time. Looking much cleaner now. <laughs> Fair enough, Shannon. Look, I'm a pretty slow crafter. I've decided after having Jamie here last week. Actually, has Jamie come on, Di? Or is she ignoring us today? Um, I'm a pretty slow crafter because of the issues I have with my hands. When Jamie was here, she was going wham, bam. Like the speed she did things, it was amazing. So there is a divot in the lid here that I just pop the corner as I'm dipping this in but if no one was watching this would be perfect and what I do I just push it in <laughs> don't do what I just did I'm not going to show you what I just did but and then I just use my hand flip it closed and then if there's any excess ink Look what I damn right. No one saw that. No one saw that. Let's just clean up my mess a little. Whoops a days. So what I do, let me just clean off this very early espresso bone folder. Whoops. This is why I have cleaning supplies. Hey, Shelly. I am well. How are you? Whoops. That's why I have an ink bone folder. But what I was going to say is if you do have little bits of excess ink, what I do is I just take my chamois, I just give it a wipe over just to remove that excess ink so then you're not transferring ink anywhere else where it's not meant to be okay so that's my stamping done so just one color of ink makes things nice and easy and then the pretty label punch so i just literally and i'm gonna be really smart so I probably now have a spot of ink somewhere. You saw nothing. Thank you, Cheryl. I'll keep you all as my alibi anytime if you see nothing. Hey, Miss Cheryl. Wilt. Okay, I think I've got two Cheryls in here today. Okay, so I always use it um, upside down. I personally use it on my desk. And I just line it up and this is sadly one of the punches that is retiring but out of all my punches that are current I still have one two three four five label punches from the annual catalog and one from the uh, January to June mini catalog that I'm keeping even though I love this one I'm okay because I'm keeping the other ones. So that is those punched out. But I will miss this. I do like the curved edges. But I will have other options in dies. Hopefully that was my husband's laptop dinging. And not someone at my door. Was that your laptop, da? It wasn't someone at the door? You think it was? Yeah, someone's at the door. Ah, oh, thanks, Chris. One of my customers. So, what I think I'm going to do is just now, this is, I can't show it to you normally because this is my 
very very last piece this is our copper trim it normally comes in a much skinnier piece and what I've done I have teased it apart to just make it look different can I interrupt your face ID? Your face ID. can I interrupt your Facebook live? yes Kristen just wants to know whether you want to give her a book now or later the book. Um, I'll post it. Okay. All right. Cool, because I've got to send you a card anyway. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. That's okay. My customers are awesome. They rock up at my door. Chris was one of my amazing customers who turned up to my class on the weekend. So I'm just, yes, I am using up the end of my fast fuse to make room for um, the new adhesive that is coming. I don't know why I grabbed that, but I did. I know you guys will forgive me for not using a current ink, a current ink, oh my God, a current adhesive um, with you guys. Okay. Now it is stuck to my hand. Just add some dimensionals here and I'm going to put them probably not as wide as what I normally do because I just want to grab the ends of that ribbon so it doesn't move. So that one is all ready to go. I don't know how I got ink on that but anyway and this one we're going to use the petal pink organdy ribbon hey miss sue allen how are you today so I'm just going to use two strips of that now I have lent my organdy ribbon to my upline at the moment but I did have a spare piece that I thought would go really really well with the colors that we're using in this project so what I'm going to if it will unstick this is what I'm going to do I'm going to stick it down this way then I'm going to fold it back on itself just want to make that a touch straighter but you know ribbon never wants to do what it's told right that's better and then make it go up the other way and then we have just a nice wave effect so you can just see and I will snip that end and that can happily go in the bin but I have used a scrap of ribbon that was sitting in my stash and that is all used so I've used two scraps of ribbon yay and they are gone off my desk I don't like having little scraps of ribbon it may give me the heebie-jeebies uh, but Cheryl we have been told that the new one is similar which is why I am trying to use up my fast fuse and I think it's because I have been using it off camera recently I just grabbed it out of habit so what I've done here again is overlap the dimensionals on the ribbon so then it's adhered down and doesn't go anywhere. I think we're up to assembly. This isn't too shabby girls. And guys, if any guys turn up on the replay. Oh my dear word. Right, card bases. So on the back of this pattern is we've got this gorgeous, it's petal pink. Uh, oh, is it old olive or is it mossy meadow? I think it might be mossy meadow. It tells me it's mossy meadow. Hello, Miss Louisa. Uh, mossy meadow and early espresso. Oh, we didn't trim these up to the right length. Trim her out again. 
I thought that was all a bit too easy earlier. So just half a centimetre smaller or if you're doing an um, imperial size card, you're looking at about a quarter of an inch. Okay. There we go. Right, they will fit a lot better. And um, yeah, you probably saw that I cut both of these layers together, which I do a lot when I'm cutting pattern paper because it's thinner than cardstock. I find it actually cuts better when you cut two layers and not one. I think I'm on the dregs of this glue or it is blocked at the moment. I'm unsure which. It's not wanting to come out. I'm going to get a glue blob. You girls can see this happening. I swear I got the glue goober out of it last time. Because I'm putting so much pressure behind this. Okay, I'm just going to go grab my other glue. Oh, hello, Miss J. Are you here? When did you turn up, Jamie? <laughs> Shut up, Jay. Oh, sorry. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Trina. Sorry, I missed you all coming in. You keep all your scraps. You keep everything. I keep scraps to a certain point. And sometimes if I know I'm not going to use it, I just get rid of it. So this pattern being an overall pattern, it doesn't matter. There's no right way or wrong way to this pattern. So I just say, slap it down doesn't matter okay that will do it's not perfect and now I've got Jamie's disease of having glue on my hand uh, a few minutes ago I was talking about you earlier and how you're a speedy crafter compared to me I was amazed by your speed on whatever day you came around. Bye Louisa, see you later. She's had enough. Might be too hot for her under my desk. Came in the house and I was a little cool so I put on my little heater which I'm turning off because I'm quite warm enough now. Okay, so they're those done. Now I'm going to take my two pieces of early espresso and I am going to pop these although I do like this stripe it just I want to use all the pretty magnolias for these cards now it doesn't matter what way you put it down because we're not at the point of um, adhering it to the card yet but you can see how that gives it a really nice frame so this is how it'll look I just think it elevates it both look nice but I think I do prefer the frame just my personal taste yes that is so true there is that but I look, I like being real with people and saying, hey, I do have issues with my hands, but I um I still get there. Would you believe how many envelopes I would have ripped because of my peripheral neuropathy? Oh my god, that would have been pretty epic. I would have been swearing everywhere. Okay, right. That is that stuck down now I could elevate this piece on dimensionals again but I am just going to stick it flat down and just keep the sentiment elevated yeah I know but could you imagine how bad I would be oh my god 
So what did you say? Uh, the stand is called, that stand is called the bin. No, no, no. I'm going to see if I can fix it. I'm just not going to do it on camera. And if it's totally dead, I do have enough new ones that I will happily put this in the bin. So for my, when I put it on, I make sure I have majority of the magnolias going in the correct direction. It's amazing how much difference having that frame makes to the card. I'm really surprised. And it's nice to, and I could have done the card base in early espresso as well. That would have looked really pretty. And I'm going to do this strip a little differently as well show you what I am now going to do because I now have that frame okay so make sure the magnolias are mostly right way up you can go love the wiggle room this gives me which is why I love Tombow even though I don't like it i know tombo is a devil oh i'm so glad i've influenced you shelly you'd um you'd be surprised how many people say i now put spots down because you put spots down i find the spots give me a bit more um a bit more leeway with um do you think i can pick this up look how long my nails have got even though my nail lady hasn't popped down yet. Hey, Linda. Okay. I'm thinking, I don't know now that I actually need that strip across. Where on this card, I really needed the strip to ground the sentiment. Where because we've put the frame on this card... I'm not sure that I need, look, I could, look, I am, okay. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Oh, where's my little dish to put my ends in, my backing pieces in. So what I'm going to do is pop that there and I'm going to get my paper scissors I went to grab my ribbon scissors I know I miss my nails too but my nail lady just hasn't she my nail lady actually lives out of state and um, but her family uh, live near me or actually near next street to where my hairdresser is actually so I think I'm just going to leave it rather than going all the way across I'm just going to leave that strip on the sentiment but have some air in the background rather than going side to side so I'm making same same but different ah right I think think you can get your nails done in my state um, I'm not sure I know I've seen some people that have their nails done but I won't go to that kind of shop because they drill your nail beds uh, your actual natural nails and I won't let anyone do that my nail lady just uses a file and that works fine with me Hey, Delinda, thanks for stopping by. Right. Put this one down. Mm, that's not, that's straight enough. It will work. I do love this organdy petal pink ribbon and I am so glad it is hanging around. So it just 
gives the sentiment a nice grounding. So on one of my original cards, I did use a thicker piece and I went all the way across. And then on the other card, I used a thinner piece and just went part the way across. You can do it many different ways. You know, variety is the spice of life after all. With some things, other things you'll get into trouble for. Thanks to Linda, it's really easy to pick the colours when they're already in the pattern paper. So I just followed the colours of the pattern paper and let Stampin' Up! do all the hard work for me, which is perfect in my books. Now, do I, I always like bottom going that sounded terrible but you know what i'm saying i like using the bottom third of the card rather than popping it up the top that's okay delinda you've always got the replay to watch me on oh you guys all saw that And I'm not putting any additional bling or anything on that. I'm leaving that exactly as is. So I'll leave the lid off the one that isn't working. So I know I have to fix that up later. So pretty simple design. All I've added is the mat to this one. I think I'll have to take a photo of the one with the mat. I really like that. Okay, so they're my four cards using three different types of ribbon, but that all works. And we've used the Pretty Label Punch, which is retiring. Where's the stamp set? Seriously, where is the stamp set? We have used the Music from the Heart stamp set which is retiring but in Australia as of just before I went live they are all still available and we have used the and I will grab it over and we've used the Magnolia Lane designer series paper which is stunning all by itself so really one punch one pattern paper, one stamp set, and some scraps of ribbon is what I've used to make these four cards. Thank you. I like the matted ones too. It just, I know these ones are great, but I think the mat just elevates it that little bit. And it really, it's one, it's half a piece of cardstock you're sacrificing basically. So thank you so much for joining me today. Have I been? No, I've still taken a while. I took my time. No need to rush these things. Now, if anyone needs any help ordering or if you have any inquiries about um, signing up, if you've got a wish list over $169 and you want to get a discount on your future purchases after that, please just contact me and I will talk to you a bit about signing up with Stampin' Up! as a demonstrator. Thanks for hanging with me and I will be back on Friday uh, to see you then. So have a wonderful day and I'll catch you later in the week. Bye!